Sometime last year, I was on my way to a client meeting. I was going below the speed limit. Out of nowhere, this dude. I lost my dad to a motorcycle accident before the age of three. I remember getting out of the car and I had blood uh, all over my blouse. All of a sudden, I just broke down. I remember feeling some pain in my face or something, and then I looked to the side and I, I thought she was dead. Very scary and, yeah. <laughs> and at the age of 23, I was in a motorcycle accident. I think about it every time I'm driving. Sometimes I start shaking, I start sweating. My personal story is filled with experiences of loss due to road safety. And then being a therapist working with trauma, it just makes sense to merge these two areas to be the wounded healer. The process I'm going to take this group through today is largely based in the process called bilateral guided drawing. It creates a space where anyone can process whatever is happening without having to talk about it. Like you, I have experienced moments and events related to road safety. And I think that is probably what motivated me to be part of this collaboration with OnStar and Lighthouse Arabia to make the road a safer experience for everyone. Trauma is not so much about what happened to us as it is about how what happened changed the way I process life. I'm going to start with just feeling, getting in contact with ideas, colors, sensations, creating a safe place and having the ability to regulate throughout the process. So I want you to just close your eyes. I want you to imagine yourself in your favorite, most relaxing place. There's a tent waiting for you. It's your magical space where you are surrounded and safe and protected. I remembered my family as just having a picnic in a field with my dog running around. My mother's image kept popping in. And as you exhale, you can slowly open your eyes. I'm going to give you 10 to 15 minutes to draw exactly your tent. There's a bit of blue here because I love windows and their sun. <laughs> kind of actually drew a little kind of version of her, but she was really tiny in it. The little person in orange, basically. It felt warm. For the first time in a long time, I didn't think of anything else. Ugh, this is emotional already. <laughs> the biggest thing that I'm feeling is I've forgotten about all the cameras and the people around. It's just me and these five other people who've been through the same thing, really. What we're going to embark on now is an inward process. Choose a color that stands out for you. And with your hands moving together, I want you to move on the paper the way it feels inside. This is what it feels being me. The power of healing is not in me as a therapist. The power for healing lies within themselves. But we can only do that if we are contained. And we can let go of the fight or flight survival mechanism, whatever comes to you at this moment or during the process or the end of the process, write the phrase on top of the paper. I ended up layering yellow and black. Yellow for me, like I said, elicits joy or happiness. Black is melancholy and sadness. And I guess when I opened my eyes, it was also really hard to see uh, definitely choked up and got a little bit emotional. I think it's covered up, kind of suppressed. It has doubts, fears. How would you massage this activation, this discomfort? How would you treat it physically, with your hands, in a compassionate way? I started to feel good about the process. 
What felt really, really nice, I remember, is the textures of this that felt uh, of the crayons. It kind of actually was very relieving. I was holding on to the chalk, and I was just like, okay, just release, let it go, let it go. And it actually did, it worked. I wrote, it's, it's okay, or it'll be okay, and to let it go. And that is kind of the moment where I got most emotional. Man, if we could bottle this. Mm -hmm. Take it home, and when we need it, yeah. we just open it and just like, but, take it. But here's the thing, how did you get there? That's the beauty, I didn't do it. We did it. Too. You did? Yeah. And that's the beauty. What I'm about to show you now are three shapes. For someone who feels their emotional experience is not contained, the bowl movement creates that, that platform that can hold it. For someone whose need is protection, the rectangular will make them feel safe. It's a boundary, the infinity symbol, which is a movement from one state of being crossing the line into a whole different sphere. The bowl felt supportive. I hated it. I really liked the rectangle. It was very limiting. It felt like a roller coaster. It really bothered me, all of them. He brings out this giant canvas. Make art out of this. And I was playing with the colors on my fingers because they felt so soothing and comfortable. And I was like, what is what is this magic? I don't think I've felt like that since I was five or six. That was an amazing feeling. <laughs> you know, watching the paint drip, it was so satisfying. I wanted something lighter because in that moment, I felt very light. We've all done our own thing. We've all used colors that don't match. It shouldn't make sense, but it looked like a beautiful tapestry because it was woven on sheer emotion. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> In that moment, you don't realize what you're doing. But for me, when I took a step back and looked at the paintings or the drawings, it spoke to me so much. I was just like, oh my God, did you realize this? I felt this overwhelming sense of peace, you know? It's gonna be a new day. It's gonna be fine. I felt empowered. I felt like I can do this. It's normal to be skeptical about therapy. It's also normal that after one session, you won't feel your world has changed. But that is the beauty of it. Something changed and just to stay in it. Be brave. Be brave and take a chance on yourself. You deserve it. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs>